Introducing the all new Corolla. Senator Mike Sinicholas proposed some amendments that would have significantly changed Senator Tommy Morrison's bill to create a Guam History and Chamorro Heritage Day. Sinicholas proposed making it a paid holiday, which would have cost Gov Guam $500,000. To offset this cost, the senator offered an amendment to eliminate Martin Luther King Jr. Day and instead rename Guam History and Chamorro Heritage Day to Chamorro Culture and Civil Rights Day. And there was a time in our own history where we stood for our civil rights as a people. And this time actually came before Dr. Martin Luther King. And it began, Madam Speaker, on March 5th, 1949, with the walkout of the Guam Congress. It is reflective not only of an amazing point in our history as a people, but in the very civil rights movement that Dr. Martin Luther King embodies, that was a movement that our own leaders took. The walkout of the Guam Congress led to the Organic Act, U.S. citizenship, and a civil government for the island of Guam. Senator Aline Yamashita was opposed to this amendment. Madam Speaker, I object. And I object because, um, as, he, as the previous speaker eloquently stated, it was Dr. King's voice who led way to hearing the voices of others. It was his courage and his movement that strengthened America to what it is. And it's what um, encouraged your dad and others to move forward for us. I do not think we should um, take away this time of honor for Dr. King. And the bill's author, Senator Tommy Morrison, was also opposed to the amendment. I also, Madam Speaker, uh, object to changing the name to Chamorro Culture and Civil Rights Day. Madam Speaker, during the public hearing, Madam Speaker, it's, it was very real that the, the testimony that was provided by us, by our, our, our people, were clear that they support Guam history and Chamorro Heritage Day. And, and the reason why, Madam Speaker, this, this name, Madam Speaker, is was, was vetted through feedback from our community. Ultimately, Senator Sinicholas's amendments failed, and the bill was moved to the voting file.